students. Public school leaders officially saying no to arming teachers and other employees. That's despite the new law that would allow it, named for the coach murdered at Stoneman Douglas High. CBS 4's Hank Tester is live at the Broward School Board headquarters with more. Hank. Uh, they were quite adamant about it today, unanimously passed. Uh, no way guns will be in the schools in the hands of school teachers or school personnel. Let's take a look. And I hope that, um, that you pass this for him. Him would be Aaron Feiss, the Burley School football coach and security guard at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, who died protecting students. One of 17 who died in the massacre. In the wake of the shooting, the state legislature earmarked $67 million to train school personnel who are willing to carry guns. As one school board member, under no circumstances do I believe that a teacher should have to uh, utilize a weapon within our schools. The armed teacher idea, part of the Aaron Feist Guardian Act, has never gotten much traction in the education community evident at the Broward County School Board meeting. I have not met one teacher or one student who is in favor of arming teachers in Broward County. The one thing that I hear from students, I don't want my school to become a police school. But there's state money on the table, $67 million in the Arm the School Employees scheme. The Broward County School Board wants it spent elsewhere on arming school resource officers. We should definitely launch a campaign to persuade the governor for those districts who don't want to arm their employees, that they give us the money to keep our children safe in other ways. Board members stress more money for mental health issues and quickly killed the armed teachers and security guards in schools in Broward County. Okay, unanimously passed. Well, the challenge for the uh, school board now is to figure out a way to finance the SROs, the student, uh, school resource officers, armed officers they want placed in the schools. That's the very latest. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News. Back to you.